Although I must say, speaking of being the shittest mother in the world, I will never, as long as I live, forget the first time I dropped Rose. I say first time because I haven't done it again. Uh, <laughs> she was three months old and uh, she was on the kitchen bench, I was holding her, and she flicked like some fucking stealth ninja. You know, she, bang, rolled off the bench onto the floorboards. You know what I'm talking about. Over a metre, back. Now, the first thing you hear, oh, seriously, the worst I've ever felt. I have never felt worse about anything in my entire life. And I've killed people. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing you hear when you drop your baby is like, right? Followed by the most deafening silence you will ever experience. That goes for about five or six seconds. That's really just an opportunity for the baby to get its screaming shit together. <laughs> now, at the end of that five or six seconds, the screaming starts. You're not sure whether she's screaming or screaming, but someone's fucking screaming. Okay? <laughs> and then there's a series of very clear steps. First thing, you apologise. I'm so sorry, Rose. Mummy, so sorry, darling. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I hope you're okay. I'm really sorry, darling. Then, of course, you beg forgiveness. Uh, oh, please forgive me, sweetheart. I'm really sorry, Dad. Mummy, do you see me, Mummy? Silly, Mummy. I'm really sorry, sweetheart. Oh, please don't be brain damaged, darling. Please don't. No, the Mummy wouldn't love you if you were brain damaged. Oh, I'm really sorry. It's not just not. I've got a problem with anyone who's brain damaged or anything like that. But it's just, oh, Mummy's brain damaged. Mummy's fucking brain damaged. Then you try distraction. You know, we call Rose Turtle because. Oh, so I say, hello, my tent. Oh, hello, my tent. Oh, 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 my tent. Oh,